Hey, it's Dumpster Marcus. This is how I part out a washing machine. All right, when I get a washing machine from a customer call or someone that I know, I always ask, what's wrong with it? Well, this one, the springs that hold the drum in, some of them broke. So they were gonna get it fixed, but they just went out and bought a new washing machine. So first off, you look at the model. This is a roper, and usually the model is inside here. So when you open the door, it's usually right here. It says M-O-D, and it's R-T-W-4640-Y-Q-1. So let's look this up on eBay. I think that's how you say it. So when I look up Roper washer parts and I put the model number in there, uh, no results come up. Some stuff sold that says fits Roper parts. So another thing I like to do is on a simple washer like this, there's no motherboard. There's just this part, that part, and that part. And sometimes most of these parts are interchangeable. So you have to take this part off and look at the part numbers on these. Most of these washers, uh, they have a panel on the back and there's mostly just a couple screws and the whole panel comes off. All right, when you take the panel off, you'll see all a bunch of stuff in here. All right, you have the one switch here, the one switch here. So there's the one switch. This is a switch that has small, medium, large, cold, warm, hot. It's got that little sensor. And then the big, this does have a motherboard. Usually the switch, usually this switch, it says regular, heavy, light, whatever. It's just a big, uh, it's usually a part like this, but this actually is a motherboard. And which is good about these, some of these sell for good money. So let's look up these part numbers. Most part numbers are on here. You're looking at these, there's actually three numbers. There's the top one, middle one, bottom one. The middle one is usually the part number. It usually starts with a letter. See, this one is W10 blah, blah, blah. Then you look at this part number and it is W104 blah, blah, blah. And you look at these and usually when you look behind this wire, I don't know if you could tell, it says PN, which is part number, and that starts with a W1, blah, blah, blah. So let's look up these parts before we take them off to see if they're worth something. That sold for 47 bucks. This one sold for $23 plus $10 shipping. Uh, this one sold for $28 plus shipping, $27, $28. And that's the same part number as this. So I know this works. So there's a quick 20, 20, $30 plus shipping. Now let's look up this part. All right, looking up that small part. Water switch, does cold, hot, whatever. Last one sold for $4.99 free shipping. Uh, and only one sold, so that's kind of let down. So let's look up the other switch. You could just put washer parts and then the part number or roper washer parts, but a lot of these parts are interchangeable. So I don't really like to put what brand it's from because most of these parts are their own brand. It's not like a roper part. Like this part's made by a different company, not roper. W104509, five, you look up this, go to the sold listings, make sure you search used and pre-owned that one sold for 9.99 so sometimes if the one switch is like ten dollars the other one's fifteen dollars i'll sell them together as a set so maybe someone has a washer like this and wants to uh buy the one part but they see there's two parts so they're like oh i'll just get both parts and i'll have some extras and sometimes the knobs sell so let's pop off one of these knobs so these knobs pop off really easy you just get them most of them just pull right off. And they have their own part number. And it starts with W104, five, three. Uh, the one is sold for $5.23. And 
five cents. So if you're selling that part, that part with the both knobs, maybe that one part that's $5, now that turned into $10 right there. Now this part that's $10 with the knob turned into $15. So maybe I will sell these separately and this one will be $10 and this one will be $15 because of the knob. Same with this part. This knob, it is a different part number. It's just 4594, last number is six. And this knob is a little bigger. And the last knob from this sold for $7.95. I'm looking $12.99 plus $4 shipping. So maybe with that part, I usually include the knobs because I usually do, unless the knob, some knobs sell for like $25 each. These are only selling for like $7.5. So I'll include them with the part and just jack up the price a little. For most of these parts, you don't need tools. You just take off the knobs. You'll see right here, that's a square. And behind it, you'll see a square. Most of these are just wires. So you wiggle the wires a little and you just turn this and it pops right off. See how it's a square, that's a square. Same as this part. This has a little clip right here. You pull that clip, pull that clip and you turn it and then boom, pops right off. Other things that sell good on washers are the power cord. So before I detach it and cut it off to scrap it, on this tag, there's a part number that starts with a W1, just like all the other parts. Sometimes these power cords are, you know, 10, 15 bucks. All right, this power cord right here sold for $14.95. Here's another part that sells good. It's in the back. It's where you hook up the cold water and the hot water. Uh, here you go right here. The part number is W143125. Same one. This says Whirlpool Washer. So this one was on a Whirlpool. Um, Whirlpool ro Roper. There's another one. Uh, used. $15 plus $8 shipping. $10 plus $8 shipping. $10, $8 shipping. All right, you tip the washer upside down. You'll see the pump motor, which pumps the water out because you see the hose that goes out and that would go into your drain. So that's the pump that pumps the water. Uh, some other, uh, whatever these parts are, I think there's some solenoid and then the motor. Sometimes these motors sell for like $80, $90 I have half sold but that's for a more expensive washer. So all you have to do is look up these part numbers and then check it out and then take them off if they are worth something. Always look up the parts first and don't just take the parts off because you'll be like, oh my God, this, this one part's worth $80 and you start taking off everything and then you finally look up the parts and you're like, oh, well this one part's only five and this one part's only a couple bucks. Like maybe you could sell the stuff in a lot or not sell it at all. So I always look up parts before you take the time to take these stuff apart. Okay, I just looked up the water pump. The pump, no used ones sold, no new one, no used ones are listed, and there's only a couple, there's three of this part number that actually sold, but they're brand new, and they sold for like $10, $15. So the water pump, eh. But this is the washer, actuator motor i guess it tells this motor to work and this part used last one sold for 12.50 five dollar shipping 24.90 15 plus seven dollar shipping I actually sold 30 bucks 30 bucks 30 bucks most of them are free shipping so the motor is kind of small so it'll fit in a medium flat rate box and i think those are like 12 dollars to ship when you buy a label from eBay. So 30 bucks minus 12, you know, you make a good 18 bucks off that motor. And most of the new washers, uh, the motors, they're not copper, they're aluminum. So like most scrapyards won't even take them. So I'm gonna take this off and sell it. All right, and you could go all day looking up part numbers and searching stuff, but right now this is everything that the washer has. The only thing I'm not taking off is the pump. And this, I'm gonna go in that scrap trailer.
here's all the parts right here that I'm selling. Let's add them up and see how much profit we can make. All right, all the parts are right here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts for a total of $164.65. Then you take $19.75 for eBay fees. And then you take $30 for shipping fees. And then you have a profit of $114.90. So just make it 115 bucks. So, and then you're gonna scrap the washer. You'll probably get maybe $5, maybe a little more cause scrap is up right now. So total of $120 profit from a washer, you would get $10 for at the scrapyard. So, Moral of the story is part out your stuff. Don't really realize how much stuff is worth until you look it up. This is a cheap washer. That washer, brand new, is like $250. Brand new. But you got them smart washers now that have the big motherboards. Like this is a small motherboard for that washer. This is the most expensive part, selling for like 35 bucks. But I sold motherboards like this to washers for like $300, $400. Like those smart washers that have all the buttons and front loader and like really fancy. Some of those I sold for like $400, which is crazy. But yes, this is a cheap washer. So when I get an expensive washer, I'll make another video just like this, show you the huge profit you can make on those washers. So. Part out your stuff, sell it on eBay, and have a scrap of good night.